question? Yeah, sure. What so, someone expecting who comes to a quantum touch session? So quantum touch is it's a relatively new therapy, and it's it's been around for about thirty years. It's come mainly from America, yeah, where it's grown in popularity, and it's been getting amazing results with people with spinal problems, which is one of the most uh, things that's well most well known. I certainly for. felt that when I had the treatment. Uh, I felt very, very different, and it was to do with my posture. Is that yeah. what you're doing? You're doing something to posture? Yeah, so the, the, the energy runs, runs through me into the person I'm working with, and, and then it encourages their body to, to line itself up as, as it should be, mm. as their body wants to be, rather than the constricted ways that we our bodies have learned to be. So it's how reminding. do we learn to go wrong? I mean how can we go wrong with this? Well it's often through either injuries or traumatic events that have happened mm. or just just coping with life. Mm. We we take on a position which might be a scared position, mm. it might be angry it, one that we got stuck in. Mm. And then and then we don't even realise we're doing it. It's so locked in our body that that we carry on as normal, not realising how low our energy really is. Mm. And quantum touch raises your energy, so it reminds you of how you could be, mm. you know, and how how you could experience life with with the true energy. It's very subtle, actually, wasn't it? I mean, that's what I would say. I didn't feel you doing very much to me, but what you did was just keep very gently sort of. Really yeah, there's very little touch involved. It's a very light touch, mm. and it's all transmitted through through subtle energy, mm. which is which is what is it the, the the more subtle parts of ourselves, the more refined parts that we're not always aware of. We're aware of our physical bodies, yeah. um, but there's an energy that runs through us that is our, our life force. You know, it's what makes us get up in the morning, what's... what's hey, do you, do, do, are people sceptical of this? Because I know anything they can't see, they don't believe, you know, I generally, do, do they sort of, they come sceptical and then they go, wow, that, you know, really, that really worked. Yeah, I mean, people always think, oh, I'll give it a go, or gee, well, you know, what's, what's to lose, what's to lose? And then they can often experience quite profound changes in their body's structure that seemed to happen of, it, of itself. So rather than being pushed into a different shape, their own body frees itself up mm -hmm. and releases, you know, releases the, the trauma, the emotion, the things that have been weighing them down. Mm -hmm. and, and then they go, oh, once they felt that, you know, you can't, you can't kind of go back almost. You, yeah. So, yeah, that's another question. Is, is the recommended number of times you should have it so that you don't go back, you don't slip back into the old pattern, you know, if you have a series of treatments, is that helpful? I think a series of treatments is usually recommended because there is, you raise your energy, your body, your body returns to more of its natural state and then the old habits will pull you back. And then the the value of ongoing treatments is that you, you once you're reminded often enough that then you you you, you, you will tend towards that habit rather than the old habit which yeah. which is bad you know what whatever's causing bad health so it can be that it can be one treatment can be enough mm. you know if there's a condition it's ready to release you know it's done mm. and it does very much vary from person to person you know whether and how deep their particular condition is. So, yeah, I, I always encourage the, the client to, to listen to their own body and what they need, because that's often what, yeah. where the truth is, is that in there. And did you get benefit from that, how you got into it, or? I just went out of curiosity myself. I was recommended to try it, and I had a lot of back problems mm. through an injury that I sustained in my lower back. Mm. And I felt from the first, the first treatment I had with quantum touch, I was, 
my whole way of standing was different. It was like I dropped deeper into my body, and mm -hmm. and it cleared my back problem wow. you know, almost almost completely. I mean, it does occasionally come back. I get twinges, but I was laid up before that, and it was a constant problem. It was a mm -hmm. constant off oh, my back. I'm worrying about it, yeah. and, and since. Having quantum touch and then learning it, mm. I very rarely get any any sort of back problems. And yeah, oh, that's great. Yeah. Is, there, is there anything else to do? I mean, I know you do some other things. And yeah, so I also yeah. do I also do Indian head massage. So that's yeah. a, a very relaxing, very relaxing, very de-stressing treatment. So and that's always a lovely to get yeah, a back rub. And a, yes, that's yeah. right. And, and I've never met anyone who hasn't no. got benefit from yeah, yeah, <laughs> having right. a shoulder rub. And you know, with computers and the way yeah. our modern life is, we're, we're mostly all somehow tense in some way. So, yeah. Thanks very much, Steve. Okay.